Zijo kire yoje ya zija Nefu kamira wansi kusizi Zijo kire yoje ya zija Nefu kamira ze wansi kusizi Zijo kire yoje ya mkolete Nefu kamira wansi kusizi Zijo kire yoje ya zija Nefu kamira ze wansi kusizi you want to see you want you want to you want to you want to you want we remember the goodness God has done for us. We exalt his great name. Our God, we worship you. We invite you in this place. Even those watching online. We come in this service. One thing we believe God is going to do us good. What God will do here? He will touch you that side. Worship his holy name. He says that God is highly exalted. His power is so great. His authority covers the whole world. He's our God. In every situation, he remains God. Good God, we worship you once again. We thank you for the gift of life. We are alive because of your word. Every word that you speak, O oh Lord. It it is created. You say whatever we declare on earth. It will be established in heaven and earth. So we praise your great name. You're worthy our God. You're worthy our God. You're worthy. He's worthy of glory. He's worthy of glory. You deserve the glory. And the honor, Lord, we lift our hearts in worship as we magnify your name. You deserve the glory and the honor, Lord, we lift our hearts in worship. As we praise your holy name, you deserve the glory. Come on, back as choir. And the honor, Lord, we lift up. Lord, we lift up as we worship, as we glorify your name. Oh, you, you deserve, deserve the glory. Watching on our you can join us as we worship God. Raise up that holy name that is above every other name. You deserve the glory. your voices there is no one else like you you're in a mode of worship mm -hmm. there is no one else like you are great for oh, you are great you do miracles so great Abba, father this is there all for is you no one else we lift like up you. your holy name your holy word which is magnified above no every other thing God, we serve. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. And what a mighty 
God we serve and what a mighty God we serve what a mighty God what a mighty God, God we serve mm. and just bow before watching online. God is touching you as we are worshiping God. Your infirmity is gone. God is touching you. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. I decree to everything, every infirmity, every sickness, every disease, as we worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, May the heavens come down where you are and deliver you, free you from that infirmity. In the mighty name of Jesus. Accomplish what concerns you today. Amen. He is able more than able. He is able, he is able to do much more than I can ever dream. Yes. He is able. More than, able more than able to do much more than I can ever dream. Amen. Mm, he's able more than able, more than able. to make me what he wants me to be. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. He's able. God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him. The angels bow before him. Heaven and Let's clap our hands unto Jesus. Clap your hands. Even you who is watching online, clap your hands unto Jesus. Today is your day of visitation. Today the Master is coming to dine with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. He is a promise keeper. He never forsakes his own. He is coming to touch and dine with you today. Let's clap our hands once again to Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate the wonderful choir. Who have led us in praise and worship. The men on these instruments, we salute you. 
God bless you mightily. Before you sit down, turn to a neighbor and greet the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen on instruments. I want you ever to be around. I don't want you to be far away. Amen. To God be the glory. You can sit down in the mighty name of Jesus. Again, I want to thank God for the time he has given us to be in his presence. This is a unique service. We thank God for our vision bearer who named this service a restoration service. I believe with all of my heart you who are here present and those watching online God is going to restore every missed opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus. Restoration means bringing back what was lost. And I believe this day you're not here by accident. You are here by appointment. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray as we are. Father in the mighty name of Jesus. The entrance of your word brings light and it brings understanding unto the simple. Father, as we are going to expound on your word, I pray nothing in my own wisdom together with my interpreter let us not speak things of our own intellect but we speak words of the kingdom and of the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus and all of us say Amen Hallelujah 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 Do you want this one? Okay, let's dive in straight into the word of God. The whole of this month, we are going to be speaking about the power in the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you turn with me to the book of Isaiah? Chapter 55. I believe let's start from verses 8 to 11. In the mighty name of Jesus. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Nor are my ways your ways. Says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth. So are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. The next verse. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven. And do not return there. But water the earth. And make it bring forth and bud. That it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void. But it shall accomplish what I please. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I send it. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is light. As we see these bulbs that are lighting here, you cannot see power, the current that lights these bulbs. But when you touch a switch, and put it on, you see the, the, the power light. In the same way, the word of God is power. 
The Bible said, it shall not return to him void until it accomplishes what he has sent it for. I believe with all my heart. You here, even you who are watching online, God is going to touch wherever there was darkness in your life. And wherever there was darkness, as he says, he gives seed to the sower and bread to the eater. To you who are here present and those watching online, God is going to touch that switch that is going to bring the radiance in your life. If you believe, say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. We are going to have a long read, um, a few verses that we are going to read. Verses 7 says, In him we have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. Grace, some people um, translate it as unmerited favor. But may I want to put it this way. Grace is a pardon where you did not deserve. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, if the word of God says that in him we have redemption. Redemption, I told you already, is bringing back what is lost. Now, by his grace, God is going to restore through his word. I said you cannot see the power of God but we can touch and download the power of God. How do we download the power of God? Whenever we read his word the Bible says his word cannot go back to him unless it has performed what he has said. Now in him we have redemption. Next verse. Verse 8. Which he made to abound toward us in wisdom and prudence. Next verse. Having made known to us the mystery of his will. According to his good pleasure which he purposed in himself. Next verse. That in the dispensation of the fullness of, of the times he might gather together in one all things in Christ. Both which are in heaven and which are on earth. The things you attend purposing for. God has gathered them and put them in Christ Jesus through his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms 107 and verses 20. Uh -huh. He sent his word and healed them. And he delivered them from their destructions. He sent his word and delivered them and delivered them from all their destructions. Meaning, there cannot be healing without persecution. There cannot be healing without persecution. Hallelujah. Christ Jesus he sends forth his word and heals us 
Hallelujah. 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 Psalms 105. Verse 8. 105. 105. Psalms. Thank you. He remembers his covenant forever. The word which he commanded for a thousand generations. Meditate upon this word. He remembers his covenant through his word that he commanded for a thousand generations. Those who come after him some of us are pioneers of salvation. No matter where you are, the word and folk is he remembers his covenant. Those who come after you, a thousand generations. God is going to establish that covenant through his word. You're going to go through victory. They're your children's children. And your grandchildren. Except Jesus Christ to take the church. But they will enjoy the blessing of the word of God. And you are in that covenant. Clap your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are in the covenant of the Lord. Through his word. Next verse. Uh -huh. Verses 9. The covenant which he made with Abraham and his oath to Isaac. So we are children of the covenant. Every believer and confess Jesus to be their Savior. You are in this promise and covenant. That which God saw unto Abraham that I'll make you rich and I'll bless you. I'll curse those who curse you and your descendants I'll give them the territories of their enemies you are living under that covenant why God has spoken it openly through his word he, he remembers I want you to declare upon yourself and declare Lord, remember your covenant towards me. You God remembers his covenant towards me. Tell, tell your, your neighbor, neighbor if you can't tell yourself, tell your neighbor God remembers his covenant for me. I'm not hearing you. Confess it louder. Tell your neighbor the Lord remembers his covenant for my life. Hallelujah. Amen. Verses 10, what does it say? And confirmed it to Jacob for a statute. To Israel as an everlasting covenant. Israel is the church of Christ. You remember Jacob? He was a trickster. Uh -huh. When he was running away from the Lord. And God met him in the desert when he was tired. When he came to the morning, he fought with the angel of the Lord. And God touched his hip. His hip. I told him from today you no longer be called Jacob you be called Israel and gave them him a new name so he ushers in through that point every believer Remember, God said, I've made a covenant with Abraham. 
Isaac. And so unto Isaac that he will bless him and establish his covenant towards Jacob. So we the children of the Lord we enter in here in this covenant through his word every blessing that was written in the Bible it is yours and your generations to come. How many? Not ten, not a hundred, but a thousand generations. Clap your hands to the Lord. Tell your neighbor God remembers his covenant. A son of man can forget their promise. But God no matter where you are God remembers is there anyone with the testimony you remember where God brought you from where God has put you now and where you are now all of us has got the lineage of testimony that's a sign that shows God remembers his covenant say amen Hallelujah. now listen to this when the first Adam fell, man had access to physical and material promises of, of the Abrahamic covenant. But and these physical things people of the old covenant they could receive on these things that are tangibles because of the promise Amen. Amen. when we come in the new testament this second Adam is called Jesus he brought in something these other people never got Jesus added unto us the spiritual covenant. Yes, we are to go in the He became the mediator. Between us and the Father. Wakati wa fenechitafi. Through His Word. Okuita mchigambo chini. Yes, we are to come When Jesus was at the cross. We are going to chewed. When He said it's finished. Bible says. The Bible says. Ejiye ya karuni ya ulamu vivili. That the curtain of, uh, of, of the temple separated two times. What does that mean? In the old covenant. Whenever the believers sinned all the Israelites. They used to bring rams. And goats. Now goats. It was a scapegoat. God for their sin. They brought it to the to the priest. Whenever the priest prayed, because of every family's family sin, because every family used to bring. Whenever they prayed, they caught the horns of these gods. So they untied it to the dark to the desert. Whatever it went and died from when there. We be, we so your sins it. were forgiven there. Hallelujah. Amen. In the new covenant, Jesus uh, abandoned the sacrifices of lambs. So he became the ultimate sacrifice. And when he said it's finished, so this power was released. The Bible says, so Jesus descended to the grave. I don't know if it is First Peter three eighteen. Search it out for me. To nineteen, the Bible says Jesus went down into hell and delivered the people. Verses nineteen. What is Aha, that is it. Go back to eighteen. 18. For Christ who suffered once for sins. Christ. Christ yes. uh -huh. The just for the unjust. That he may bring us to God. This is what Christ did. 
to bring us all who are not deserving unto Christ, unto God. Remember, is the physical Israel was the chosen generation. So we the ethnic were not into this covenant. But when Christ ascended to the cross and died for us and became a curse for us, this is what he did for us. To draw us closer to God. We have, we have, we have when he was killed, murdered at the cross. In the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. This is what I was telling you. In the old covenant, they could touch the physical things and the well things. They never attained this spiritual power. So you child of God. You are so now different. What Jesus did for us. Give us direct access. Now we can go directly to God. Whatever you ask God of heavens, listen. You don't go to have a channel of a person like other religions. You go to the priest, confess your sins. When he accepts, so the forgiveness of your sins. So you go, you're forgiven. When their believers die, they allege when they die, they go and plead for them. That's a lie. The truth is Christ. By whom also he went and preached to the spirits in prison. Whichever spirits were born in the old covenant. This is what brought Christ. The Bible says when Jesus resurrected people were seen walking the streets of Jerusalem. It's what God has brought for us. Whatever thing died over your life because of this spirit of Christ because this spirit reminds us all Amen. Amen. It pleads before us before the Father. That is the power in the word of God. Don't be amazed and ask yourself demons how are demons moving? How are they casted? You may even ask me without answer. But we believe the word. Just like I told you. You can't know this current, the current of this power. They go through the wires. You place a switch. So to cast out Everyone yes. that accepted Jesus Christ. So his word is the switch. Whenever a switch on the switch of God is word. Whatever was born. In prison. Is released because of the grace of God. You are a child of covenant. Confess unto yourself. And say, I'm a child of the covenant. I'm saying, confess unto yourself and say, I'm the child of a covenant. Even you who are watching online, you are a child of a covenant the day you gave your life to Jesus. Through the second Adam, who is Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalms 82, 82 and verse 6. Hallelujah. What does it say? I say it. Ngamba. You are gods. Muliba katonda. And all of you are children of the Most High. That is the picture God sees you in. Now, oli katonda. You are God of yourself. How? Otia. When the first Adam fell. Adam Darkness was over the place. But when the second Adam was ushered in, he brought life again. Hallelujah. Amen. Through the Spirit. The Bible says, when God breathed life 
into man yes katonda baya somuka muntu he became a living soul na fuko moyo mulamu kati omuntu uyagwa when some a man fell gana amanyi ga kuvako so this power departed from you sitani yali agalina the devil had it na ye yesu wajja kuno konsi when jesus came in this world na gama timperedwa ama and said i'm given power mukuru ne konsi in heaven and on earth ye kula chito to somawo Acts chapter 10 verses 38. Ebikolwa 10 asatu munana. As you tell your neighbor I am a god. You are a co-creator with God. Oli mutonzi wa mune katonda. Aha. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit. Engeri katonda jafuka mu Yesu Kristo mu Nazareth na ma no mo na ma ta. And with the power. Na amani. Anya galina amani. Who has the power? Christ ya galina. Christ has the power. Adam woku bili alina amani. The second Adam has that power. Katonda ya mufuka kama futa. God anointed him. Kati gwe ya kiriza Christ yes. You believed Christ. Now oli mu line ye mu lwenda gano ya mukama. You are in the same line because of the covenant of God. Chogerwa, Whenever the word is spoken. Buli wo ya tula mu chigamo. Whenever you confess. No sabo kuita mu chigamo. Press through the word. Now we katonda kufuka kama futa gega. God anoints with the same measure of anointing. Buli wo gaba daimono kugenda. Whenever you tell the devil to go. Toyogera mu manyi go. You don't speak in your tongue. Katonda ya baku fuse kama futa. God has anointed you. Okugoba daimono. To cast out that daimono. Hallelujah Amen. how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth Enge with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him whenever we speak God's word God is with us Hallelujah Hallelujah Tell your neighbor. Whenever you pray through the word, God is with you. I said, Whenever you pray in the word, God is with you. Kati wali muzaburi chinana mubiri. Nadinga ne chigamo chonaga mat, but you are God. He repeated it and said, "Muri ba katonda." When you speak through the word of God, you become a co-creator. Amen. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1 to verse 3. We want to see the power that is in the word. Verses 3. Then God said, Katonda. Katonda, let there be light. And there was light. This man that discovered this power was called Edison. History say, when he was in school, he was so dark in class and the teachers advised his parents that this boy does not fit anymore in this school take him to another school or find something that he can do or find something that he can do or one second blackboard emu gata kemu. Never see someone writing on the blackboard saying one plus one. And you put B. No simula. So you 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 no one dika emu gata kemu. And write one plus one. Equals inga tota deko answer. Equals with that answer. No mubuza ziba meka. How many? Nga kugamba simany. I don't know. Oye yali Edison. Yali Edison. Very da. Nga tako la brunji. Yali musiru. But his parents. Never zadebe. Thought that there was something of significance in him. Balo was a wali we change out the chari mu ye. Amen. Kati ono Edison nga chari mu vubuka. Wale was still young. Ya ya gala nyoku vumbula. He loved so much discovering. The background of his history says. Ibi afa ibi gamba. That he loved so much to be an inventor. Ya ya gala nyoku vanga yi ye bi intu. Whenever these other kids could play outside, he was in the room. He wanted to invent something that could 
cast out the darkness. Every time he was in the room discovering something. Now they say he tried a thousand times to invent light. And on the, a thousand and one time, light came. Now because of one man, the whole world has electricity and light. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You could be here and you're like Edison. Your life doesn't add up. Nobody sees you. Your relationship steady akulaba. Amen. Amen. But there's something God put inside of you. When you discover through the word of God, you'll be someone that will bless the whole world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You was created in God's image. There's something you have that God gave you. It's not like for the other person. The world is awaiting for people such as you. Hallelujah. Amen. You are an inventor. God has put something inside you of you through his You are not created to be a nobody, but you are created to be a somebody. Everyone has got talents and gifts. The moment you discover that thing God placed in you, is going to celebrate you. Hallelujah. Amen. Let there be light. And there was light. Next verse. What does it say? And God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness. Inside of you, there is something God wants you to discover through His Word. Psalms 33 and verses 4. I'm like uh -huh. Psalms 33. For the Word of the Lord is right. The people's other words are just deceit. One person said, The devil who was Lucifer then, he came and divided the world and it became the world. The world. World, it was word from God. Amen. Now the devil Lucifer, he wanted to show himself as God. That's why the, the, in heaven he was cast down and it became the world. So he lose over the world. But the world is established in heaven. Now, the word of the Lord is right. Uh -huh. And all his work is done in truth. Whatever is done of God is done in truth. Jump to verse 6 because of time. Verse 6. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. And all the word of God. And all the host of them by the breath. Whatever you hear, angels. In heaven, street is a zabu. The golden streets. All the precious things in heaven. We are created through the breath from God's mouth. That's what I told you. When God breathed 
into man. He became a living soul. It was that spirit that was given to Christ. And that is the covenant you are in. Whenever you speak now, you don't speak on your own. You speak how God can speak. Whichever word from your mouth has power. I don't know if you As you can see this electricity, you can't see it. When you switch on the switch, power comes. The same way. We believers. So we are so unique. We exceed the other covenant of Abraham. And we enter this covenant of Christ. Added on the spirit of God. So, this path that resurrected him from death. This path through the walls. That took him from earth to heaven. Jesus went to heaven when the whole world was seen. Plans, first, plan with plan for them to fly. But Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples. He was ascended to heaven. Even when they were all watching. And that was the part that he was reading. Exceeded him to heaven. He's residing inside the city. What the devil does, he wants to deceive you that you don't have that power. Amen. Every day the devil wants to assure you, to tell you that power stopped on Christ and those false prophets. They say on Pentecost, it is stopped on that day. That's not what the Bible says. We were given power. Who was given power? You and I. It is power God left us with. It works inside of you. If you discover the switch and the source, then you will speak as God speaks. One man challenged me. He went to live with the Lord. Reinhard Bonke. Reinhard Bonke. From German. One day was at Crusade in Nigeria. One lady raised her faith. The husband that passed on through the accident was in a mortuary. They had even grinded him. was in a mortuary in a fridge. When she heard that Len Bonke was coming to Nigeria, this lady said, as this man is a man of God, as I've heard him do miracles, I'll take this dead the husband of mine who resurrected. This man was called Emmanuel Ike. Go and seek out for his book. Kagamati snatched from the clothes of hell. Snatch from the clothes of hell. This man was brought to the crusade. This lady brought this man in the coffin. Renhard Ali Wagula Abulida Katut was preaching. Abega is very once Wakatu Tibasa were down praying. O Mucharo no Yajane Motoha. This lady came up parking, packed, Nagamba Abega is. I told the intercessor, Zenzikiriza Mumania Gadim Sajono, Wakatona Guawiriza. The power that is in this man of God. Now take a once a coffin, laid down the coffin. Abata Nebabuna, those who feared ran away. Amen. While the man was preaching, he said, The dead are going to rise in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every dead thing and creature to arise now. His preaching, without knowing what was happening within the field, so this man kicked the coffin. He sat. 
Pamba so he had the pump inside. So they removed them. Never joke with this word of faith. He resurrects every dead thing. That that power resides in you, a believer. You have a power of Jesus in you. Whenever you speak in this authority, you speak in the host under the breath of the go of, of God. It takes faith. Say amen. Say amen. This scripture, let me read. But listen to this. Faith is one of your greatest assets of the spiritual covenant. Let me say that again. Faith is one of the greatest assets of the spiritual covenant. Every day God is looking out for men with faith. I believe today you are not here accidentally. God has come to ignite what is inside of you. The deceit of the devil. Today you are going to step on it. Let me finish this testimony. This man, he would put in the fridge. He brought warm water and tried to put on him. They started asking him, this? And this is my wife. Right now, is a preacher, a pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Inside of you, there is something God has put inside of you. Your switch. problem, you haven't discovered the switch. But the switch is in God's word. Hallelujah. 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 Acts chapter 14 and verses 11. Let's end with that and then we pray. What does it say? Now, when the people, let's start from verses, let's go back a bit, verses 10. To get the story right. Go back to 9. Uh -huh. Go back to 8. I want you to get this. Thank you. And in Lystra, a certain man without strength in his feet was sitting. He was crippled. Amen. And a cripple from his mother's womb. Who had never walked. So the proof of this word, it really happened. Bible the Bible doesn't tell us his names. But there is proof that there was a man. Since he was young, he was lame. Verse, next verse. This man heard Paul speaking. Paul observing him intently and yeah. seeing that he had faith. To be here. This is the secret. Every servant, lady or man of God. Whenever you sit down and have faith that you can get out of that situation. When the word of God is being preached. The Bible says Paul was preaching the word. So these eyes look to this man. Paul looked intently. Looked inside this man. Had enough faith to be healed. What does us bad sometimes? Whenever the word is being preached, God is waiting to touch your switch. Amen. 
Amen. There is power mm -hmm. that releases you from that situation. But what will touch your switch is called faith. So Paul is preaching. Looks at this man. He has within him the, that this man had enough faith. Verse 10. And said with a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. In heaven, everything is done by command. So Paul commands this man, Rise, stand straight. That's how we receive our miracles. Whenever God speaks through their servants, servants as you receive that word, so your switch is switched on. Amen. Amen. And he leaped up and walked. This man had never walked. He was crippled. He was crippled. He was crippled. He was crippled. When we heard Paul's word, Paul preaching God is what? Switch the switch was Paul and Paul told him walk. Faith stretches the crippled things of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Next verse. What does it say? And we're going to pray. Verse 11. Now, when the people saw what Paul had done, they raise up their voices, saying in the Likonian language, the gods have come down to us. You are gods. Bible, the other verse, you are gods. The Bible says God describes you as gods. Now here the Likonian people are saying, the gods have visited us. Can we go back there? Back to Charlie even as today, I don't know whom God has come for. I pray someone to say, God, turn on my switch today. Hallelujah. I pray God to switch on that switch. God has brought in his God's house. The gods have come down in likeness of man. God has got his prophet that gives the revelation of what happening. Revelation of knowledge is given through the spirit who is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit knows what is inside of you before you come to know it. The Holy Spirit knows it. Whatever causes you to be worried. While we started in Isaiah 55, your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your, what you think, God exceeds your thoughts. So you don't have to be anxious. Faith, uh, fear is the opposite of faith. The Bible says 365 times in the Bible this word don't fear is recorded. What does that mean? 365 means a whole year. That means every day of your life, God is telling you don't fear. You may seem like you're in a situation which is unpleasing. Just like the crippled man. That fall up from our mother's wombs. What will cause light in your darkness? It is God's word. I have seen God. Whenever I see you see God, I have seen God doing great things in my ministry, in the ministry of other people. Now, there is what is called the power of association. Whenever you believe the word, 
God comes and resides in your midst. Raise up on your feet, everybody. We are going to pray. I don't know what is going on in your life. But the Bible says, He has exalted His word above his name. That means the word of God is the ultimate and supreme power. God will ever credit you for your acts of faith. God told Moses when there was no way in the midst of the Red Sea, deeper speaking words. Why did you leave us from Egypt? You're bringing us to die in this desert. You could be like Moses in the midst of the Red Sea. There are words being spoken against the street. Your parents are speaking words. When you got saved, you were lost. When are you bringing the husband? Such words. When they are spoken, let's stir up the faith inside me. The God, the owner of power, the switch of life. Today is going to descend the power of man. Like Paul said, I believe God is going to share someone. No matter what you know about his son, and what people know about you. But your thoughts are not God's thoughts. God is going to transform you and conform you into His image. Is the owner of power. Whatever you are aware of, whatever you are not aware of. But there are things from the clan. Like this man who was born it took Paul to discover what was happening in his life. Healing on that day came for this man. So this man leaped and walked. So people testified God has visited us through this man Paul. An image of man I want you to pray you are the prophet of your destiny you know yourself more my work is to declare the word of God the Bible says the entrance of his word it brings light it is open for you the light of Christ Inside of you is that ingredient of creation. You are a creator together with God. Whatever you say to be, it will come to pass today. There is some power. Special power that will join with you. That spirit of ancient days. Who, who formed the world. Today is coming on your tongue. There is uncommon favor that is going to come upon your life. There is healing through the power in the word of God. Darkness is going to leave Uncommon miracles are going to happen. God is going to transform you into his image. Even you who is watching online. There is going to be a special touch. God told me there is going to be a visitation. A supernatural visitation. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you say the entrance of your wall. It brings light and understanding. Today, in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak the power in the world. You said your word will not go back to you unless it has performed what you have sent it for. Today, I decree under the power of the anointing, let it fall upon every individual head represented here. Every family that is represented here, every individual who is in this place. Even you who are watching online in the different states of the of, 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 of America and the nations. 
There is going to be a supernatural visitation. There is somebody you are online. You are having a problem with one of your discs at your, on your backbone. God is restoring that backbone. The doctors have been trying to do whatever they can. But today I command you under the power of the anointing. Remove that corset and begin to do what you have never done before. There is going to be a supernatural touch from heaven. God is visiting you today in the mighty name of Jesus. Do what you have never done before. I request you to remove that corset and start bending down. Start stretching out. The hand of God is upon your life. God is healing you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Supernatural power is touching in the mighty name of Jesus. I can see uncommon miracles being happening right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Barren wombs are being opened. Already I'm speaking to you in the mighty name of Jesus. You have been barren for several years. But God is bringing light into the darkness of your womb. About this time next year, I speak as a servant of God. You're going to have a child of your own. And you're going to testify about God's goodness. In the mighty name of Jesus. And uh, chronic diseases are being healed. I speak to cancer. I speak to sugar diabetes. I speak to arthritis. I speak to uh, tuberculosis. Every chronic disease under the power of the word of God, you're receiving your healing because everything has an ear to listen. I command every darkness to loose in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know God is going to visit. There's a miracle you're going to receive. It is knocking at your door. The package God is going to present you. are going it. to celebrate a Christmas like never before. I speak this under the anointing of the Spirit of the Living God. May God do it for you. May God rejoice. You see the goodness of the Lord. In the land of the living. God be exalted. Because the visitation of God will come. And what is on us, you want to know. All these seasons are going to be. Whoever had fruit. To be dried from your throats. May the hand of God touch you. Someone has pain in, in this place. You could not even bend. I command the hand of God today to touch you. Touch that, touch that part. And release God's power. I didn't come here on my own. I stand on behalf of you, my Father, in the name of Jesus. I speak to that new thing. Backs with pain. Backs that could not burn. Today they, they will receive healing. May the hand of God be with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Some lady here. You never experience pain when you're going to a place. You Pain killers. That is not common and that's not from God. I want to pray with such a lady. Take an ikono Put your hands on your belly. If you experience pain, your abdomen pain. The hand of God is healing you. Father, in the name of Jesus, with the pain. The hand of God today. It is taking away the leprosy. 
from your clan in the mighty name of Jesus today you're escaping you're leaving that leprosy and you got that leprosy to go the hand of God to lift you as God used Paul and raised a crippled man and received the healing and I command the word of God to walk through your bearing to clear to bring light God has been dead in the mighty name of Jesus shout amen shout and say amen thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Worship the Lord in His presence we stand. He cares for us and the understand. There is a visitation of God. Come, Holy Spirit, reaching us now. Rescue your young peace, love above. Come on, let's worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Season of Mount Katona, we want to end up. They can be made a season of Chama Katona Chapel. Oh, child, you don't want to come here. You're going to go. Katona, get up for a chata for a woman. And come on, faith. And come on, miracles. The visitation from on high has bombarded this place. Even you who is watching online, God is performing for you. Oh, the Lord is worthy. Just sing and worship Him. All upon the name of Jesus. That's what brought Him to bring light where there was darkness. Oh, the Lord is able. Lord is loving, 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 Lord is loving, loving Jesus, loving is the Lord. Raise up your hands, everyone. 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 Feel what God is doing. God doesn't look for you to feel. He's looking for faith. Believe God is what. Whatever word that comes from God's mouth. There is creation. There's a creation happening. Those here and those online. While you switch, you turned on. Your switch is turned on. Now the light is going. Every dark. Every 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 Excellence of His word. It has come to you. Father in the name of Jesus I thank you for your here Because your word is truth Your word is light You're doing something new on your people I declare Your glory to fill everyone To stop others away To leave those who are weak in faith That has never happened in the land 
come with a loud voice say God has visited us thank you Lord his hands raised his hands raised they have dedicated themselves to giving your word let your light fill everyone touch them in a special way you have made them gods you have made them light in their families you have made source of life and today Lord you are together with them as you anointed Jesus and told him to go back about these people they are going to see your goodness they are going to see your favor they are going to see your miracles I declare this month be a month of seeing your goodness thank you Lord because you are going to do it by my spirit Holy Spirit that sits forever in your heart who cries about Tata I declare today that their eyes have never seen their ears have not heard they have never imagined their hearts working for them today to have found me a wife thank you Jesus let's clap hands to the Lord Clap to God. Clap your hands to Him. Clap your hands to Him. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is so wonderful to be in the presence of God. Miracles are bathed when we come into His presence. Even today they are bathed. They are berries that are going to produce miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to that time of sowing seed before the Lord. You who are watching online, we are going to a session of giving. Our wonderful pastor, the vision bearer of this ministry. Uh, I don't know those on projection. He launched out a book called uh, Keys of a Successful Pursuit of Destiny. It's a very inspirational book. I would urge all of you to get a copy of this book. It's full of wisdom. And it, it will guide you to, to the footsteps of your destiny. It is found on Amazon. You can go and get more details on Amazon. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, we have two media, uh, media platforms where we give our seed. We have the media uh, MTN platform. You can type in the merchant code and follow the instructions. Then uh, the, 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 the names that will come are Pastor Fred Kasuli. Amina and your seed will reach us faithfully. We also have the Airtel uh, media platform. Type in the merchant code. Follow the instructions. And your seed will reach faithfully. In the mighty name of Jesus. And uh, let's pray for every seed that's going to be given. Even you who are here, let's rise up on our feet. We pray for our offering. In Jesus' name. God, the shape of destinies. I pray today as you've guided our pastor to try to launch this book, I pray for every man and woman who's going to give a seed. Let this seed speak on their behalf. Birth of miracles they have never seen in Jesus' name. Let every devourer on their work, on their family, on their ministry. To them, may God arise. Every enemy scattered. I pray the blessing of heaven to land on every seed you're going to give before God. Let this seed. Bring light in their way. I declare the blessing of God. The blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Be on your life. In Jesus' name. We all say amen. Let's confess the word of 
chamka mafo Yesu Kristu no kusochi mukwa moyo mutukufu kubere na fefenna na buluganda bonna emereme kitagwawo amina 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 god bless you kama bawo mukisa god bless you thank you for coming in the mighty name of jesus you've done so much for me i cannot tell it all Oh, no, no, no.